Hello, in this video we're going to check how we can uh, add a contact form to our static website. So we may need to add a contact form to a website so the visitors to be able to get in touch with us easier. Static website doesn't provide the easy way to have a contact form and receive an email to your inbox. And uh, in this video, we're going to check a free service that can uh, help you uh, add your contact form to the static website and uh, receive email to your inbox when someone submit the contact form. The contact form, it will be protected with uh, CAPTCHA so you don't receive a lot of uh, spam from bots and things like that. You can customize the form in any way you like and uh, the service is free and easy to use. I've also created an article in here that will uh, go and uh, provide the needed details with the services and so on that you can uh, follow. So what we are going to do is just um, follow this and create our contact form, the service that will enable us to send emails to our inboxes from contact forms is called uh, formsubmit.co. So this is a free service, it will allow you to create a form on your website and you put as an action the service and uh, with your email address and the fields and uh, at the end when someone will hit the submit button, it will send an email to your inbox. I am I will use Astro to add the contact form in this video because I am using Astro for my blog and uh, basically you should do the same thing for any static website, it is not special. At the end we are also going to check some of the options that the form submit has that you can enhance your form. So let's uh, get into this and uh, start adding our contact form to our Astro website. So I have in here my blog, let me open the code for this. And uh, I have in here a contact page that it has a form already in there, but right now the form is not actually doing anything. If uh, we're going to check it, it's not linked to anything. So even if we complete it, nothing it will happen. Let's go and do a test in here. And uh, if you hit submit, basically it will not send the email, it will not do anything. Uh, but uh, we're gonna modify this form and we're going to add uh, form submit in here. So we can receive emails if we're going to check the code again. You see in here that this is the actual code for this. Let me make this smaller. And uh, in here you will have the form with the contact and you see that it doesn't do anything. It's uh, styled with Tailwind CSS because this is what my team is using. And um, for the first thing, I'm just going to copy the code that uh, I have uh, in the article. So basically, I will copy the code that has also the endpoint in it. And um, we're going to see how this is working. And after, I will just modify the form that is looking nice to see the details. So right now, I will just copy the code with the action in here. And I will go again and open the code. And what I will do, I will just replace the form that it's in here with the code that I have on the website. This is something that you should do also on any static websites. So in here, I will add my email address where I want to receive the emails. And my email address is dragosh at bitdoz.com. And in here, you see that this, um, this form is using this, it's using the post. And in here, you see that you have the, the labels for it, you have the input text with the ID and the name. Basically, this is what the service needs. It needs these uh, inputs with the name to be able to send the details in the email. And at the end, you have the um, sum, submit button. The same you are going to see also in, in here. You see the this is a simplified form. So right now, if we're going to go and save that and then we'll open this, you'll see that you have a contact form in here. It doesn't look nice because right now it's not styled with anything. It's just um, the plain code. You can style this with CSS, but yeah, this is for another video. And in here you can just uh, put your name, then you put your email address in here and in here you type your message. And then you will send the email. In Astro, you will uh, see this error message that uh, it will uh, be there. For other uh, static websites, you shouldn't see this error message. This is something that is specific to Astro. And to bypass this, we're going to open the article. And in here, I have uh, Astro. 
astro method data astro reload that you need to to add to have this form working for for astro so let's go and add this i think this is related to view transition that's why you need also to add this option in here in the form so run i will save this again and let me go again and let's submit again this let me refresh it because i don't think it refreshed okay let me put again the name the email test message and let's hit again the send so right now the request it sent the server of a form submit and in a couple of seconds you will see the details so right now the first thing that you will need to to do is to check your email to validate your email so in the inbox i have the inbox in here you will see that i have an uh, activation form detail and uh, right now we should go and activate it i will click activate and right now the form is activated it's using my local host because i'm testing this locally first right now the form should work so if we go again and open the local host and if we go to the contact and let me put again the name in here let me put the email address test message to right now if we hit send our inbox okay i am prompting to check that this is not a spam and right now the form is submitted if you want to write redirect the the ones that are submitting this form to a different page you can do that with the next action we're going to check that after so right now if we go to the inbox you'll see that in here i have the test messages that were sent and everything is working right now so at the end you have the functional form and some other things that uh, you may want to do is to for instance you have the options as i said to do a page redirect so basically when someone will uh, submit the contact form it will be sent to a page that you have on your website a thank you page or other page you can add cc and uh, other things for instance you can disable uh, the captcha if you want you can add a subject if you want you have all the details in here uh, you can uh, add also the auto response you can choose from different templates you have some hooks that you can create and so on so yeah i have a link into the description you can add file up uploads so this service it's uh, letting you do a lot of things for for free and uh, in the end you will have a functional contact form for your website and uh, right now let's go and uh, style a little the contact form that i have in there so what i will do i will just basically copy this and move all the details back that were before and i will just add the details to this form that i already have so this form is coming with the team and in here what i will do i will just need to add this um, this action in here. okay and uh, right now the details should be should be there what i will do is to add a name to text area so i have also the message in in there the rest of the details should be sent so okay i've added the form i added the action the other thing that i need to do is to add that astro tag that will allow this to work in there so astro reload in the form section let me put it at the end so right now this should work we can do another test in here just to see that this is working right now so let's go again and open the local host i will choose the contact in here and right now the form it's the previous one that it's styled with the tailwind css and let me uh, do a test and afterwards we can uh, deploy this to the production to have it live and right now i hit the submit now i'll be prompted I will not add any thank you page right now so right now the form uh, was submitted and, and i should receive in here an email and you see that uh, the email was received and i have everything in here the next thing that you need to do is just to go and push this to your live site and uh, do the test there and see that everything it's it's working like this you are adding a contact form to your static website 
I hope you enjoyed the, the video. In case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to subscribe. I will let into the video a detail in here of how you can install and use Astro so you can have your own static websites uh, created. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.